Hello lovelies. Can you see that? Yeah. I know you love the Ranger calls. So I start off from the back. Yeah. Measuring with my hand. You know, from here to here. My left here to my right here. Now it all depends on the size you want. Most times I have mirrors at my back and at my front that helps me get you know, the right size. So if you want to do this as well, I advise you have something like that. I apply gel as well to get a smooth cut eventually. Yeah, and then I go in again with the comb. Yeah. So apply gel when you get with the comb. That way you achieve like a very clean cut. Like it looks like a pro. Yeah, like a professional did it. And I must say I got loads of compliments from this. Like loads of compliments. Like, well, I was like, oh, you did that yourself? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Like I said before, the cut all depends on the size you want. So I want the mine to be like a medium size. I don't want something too big and something too small. And this was like a perfect size. I was doing like a three layer at the back. Like the first layer was about three. And then I continued with four. And then I continued with five. So when I noticed that the layer was longer, I added like numbers. You get what I mean, yeah. So the extra gel I'll be adding is to help collect any other air like flying around before I read that particular section. So now, whatever I want to break, this is the format I use in holding the hair. Then I go in, section my own air into three. Can you see that? Yeah. Then braid all along. I have a very detailed video of this in my channel. So please follow me and go through my shorts and videos to find it. Now that's the middle, there will be a twist to that. I will be braiding from one end to the other, so I'm just cutting out 
beads from that middle and I'll be braiding that bit just the middle to, to make a, that middle will be making a curve. You see that? Yeah. Now towards the end of the hair, because we want to add curls, that is what we do. We take a little bit from the hair, then tie a knot with it. Just a little bit. You don't want it to be too big because if it's too chunky, the knot will lose. You get me? This seems to be like the easiest pattern for me. It's just easy to like have a straight line going in. And I think that was why at the middle I added a curve instead of doing a straight line that would be way too long. So now just you've done the back, just keep cutting the front on a straight line, like keep cutting the front on a straight line. Take into consideration the the front of the hair seems to be larger as well. So it's a straight line here, but the front will be a bit fuller than the back, if that makes sense. And then you then section into smaller this and then you braid. Now, for this front, I already sectioned my hair into two equal parts. Can you see the, the two puffs? Yeah. Before I started doing one part. That's so we have equal numbers on each side. We don't want to have like some uneven numbers. You get what I mean? Time for the curls to achieve a flawless curl like the one you saw in the video you have to comb the hand thoroughly you don't want any 
tangled gates. And then shame, yeah, shame the, the teeth. After that, I started rolling the hair first and I used a coiling wand. You can also use the coiling rod, you know, the one you use for your wigs and the likes. You can use that one as well. I got this coiling one from Nigeria, but you can get yours anywhere. I've seen it on Temo before. I'm sure it's on Amazon as well. Name it. So, if you don't have the coiling um, rod, you can use a wand like this. You will achieve the same result. Then secure both ends so you don't end up having loose bits. Yeah. So secure both ends. I used a rubber band for the other hand. It in hot water. Be careful out there, guys. Hot water. It burnt me on this day. I couldn't cry. <laughs> so be careful out there. I used got to be spray after draining out the water from the hair, and then use the um, air dryer. You know, dry up everything. The got to be spray is just to, is to help hold the hair. Yeah, got to be spray is just for holds. Separated the hair after all of that. Be careful. Separate gently, guys. Be careful. You don't have a rough air at the end of the day. And there you have it. Your beautiful braids are cause. Look at look at that. Girl is looking fly. Looking fly. Like the, the confidence is done. Everything is you know, her pen. <laughs> Have a lovely summer, guys. Enjoy.